I'm Mary Beth Sewald with the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce in Washington, D.C. at the Chamber's annual fly-in. We're here with John Hudak from the Brookings Institution. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. You addressed our delegation today and you spoke very passionately about Yucca Mountain. You know that the Las Vegas Metro Chamber has staunchly opposed it since its inception. Tell us a little about what you said this morning to our delegation. Really, there's a, a, an opportunity for the delegation to begin a messaging campaign around Yucca Mountain. This is an issue that most Americans don't understand, and frankly, a lot of Nevadans don't understand. It's complex, it involves science, it involves politics, and it involves a, a real functionality of the system we use or are looking to use to dispose of spent nuclear materials. And so the delegation has an opportunity, and really the broader business community in Nevada has an opportunity to communicate these ideas in Congress, in Nevada, and throughout the United States about the risks, the challenges, the problems, and the real lack of solid science surrounding this issue. What would you say would be the best thing that the Chamber could do in conjunction with our businesses to communicate exactly the message you're talking about? Well, part of the message has to come from the business community to say, listen, here are the risks to our businesses, here is a risk to our community, and here are the broader problems that are posed for Nevada by the Yucca Mountain site. But in addition to that, there needs to be a consortium around this issue that looks outside of Nevada. Because this is a national issue, because spent nuclear material um, comes from a variety of energy sources throughout the United States as well as from the U.S. military, this is not just a Nevada issue. And the determinations around it come from our national lawmakers. And so being able to communicate what the problems are around this and why Yucca is not a foregone conclusion, why it is not, why it has been chosen because of politics and not because of science, is important for Americans to know. Frankly, Nevada is going to lose this argument if it is perceived by other Americans that this is simply a NIMBY argument, but not in my backyard. Nevadans need to communicate that this is a problem in public policy that needs a long-term solution and that that solution is not yet known. Okay, John Hudak, thank you so much. Thank Always you. a pleasure to see you. The pleasure is mine. The Brookings Institution. I'm Mary Beth Sewald. Be sure to follow all of our activities here at the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce on our social media platforms at, at LV Chamber. Thanks so much.